Hello and welcome to Toho 14.5 Urban Legends in Limbo. The title theme of this game is Heart Stirring Urban Legends. Well, let's just get into it. This game came back out came out back in 2015. Man. I wish I knew this game existed back in 2015. It's a great game. I think I'm gonna do normal. I don't know. Maybe I'll do easy. Maybe I'll do normal. Depends. We'll start off on normal. If, it, if that it proves too difficult, we'll go easy. And we're starting off with Reimu Hakurai's story. Arcane! The Shrine Maiden of... It's cut off on my screen, but... Basically... Oh, it's... Never mind. It's right there, too. Arcane! Shrine Maiden of Barriers, Reimu Hakurai. All sorts of urban legends have been spread throughout Gensokyo. Of those, many were made up intentionally. It was, estab it was established practice to turn a, pers a personally convenient urban legend into one's own power. But regardless, Marissa was here for a particular purpose. The incident in this game is the urban legend incident. Basically, urban legends are running rampant, and each character in this game has an urban legend associated with them. Reibu has picked, as her er, as her title, Shrine Maiden of Barriers, kind of hints to, Reibu has picked the urban legend of the Tsukima Ona, the girl in the gap. Uh, so we can pick our spell card. I can have the fan Spirit Sign Fantasy Spiel, Divine Arts own Omnidirectional Dragon Slaying Circle, or Treasure Yin Yang Asuika. Uh, I'll have to think. What do I want? Yeah, I like fantasy sign, fantasy seal. We're go taking the fantasy sign. This pre-battle theme is called An Everyday Life with Balls. That's an actual name. Okay. I found something real interesting here at Coringo. Looks like nobody's noticed this phenomenon yet. Better act now and take its power for my own. Marissa Karasame. The... Ma Horror, magician of the school. Oh, uh, hi. What are you up to at a time like this? Well, I found something kind of interesting. And figured I could test it out on you. Test it out, huh? That doesn't sound friendly. But I've got something too. You came at the right time. Time to cut loose and test out this power on you. Behold this occult power. Our first battle is against Marissa. Unlike Hopeless Masquerade, I'm actually a bit better at this game. Alright. She's going for her spell card. And, as, as it was said before, each character has their own occult powers. That didn't work out. With Raymu, if you press, um... Well, I don't have the ability to do the occult right now. I have an occult orb now. I can show it off. Or not. When I said test out, I actually meant having you to test these mushrooms for poison, but... Just what are you trying to show by it, me by attacking me all of a sudden? Don't tell me you're already done, are you? Of course not! Have a taste of this! A new way to use these occult urban legends! Alright, well, Marissa's showing off her urban legend to us. What I was saying is, you press. Okay, uh, can I do it? I guess I don't have the uh, urban legend of power. Nope, I can't do it. Okay, let me stop bowling.
What's my shield button? I actually forget my shield button. That's not what I meant to do. That's not my shield button. Me, better at this game. Awesome me. Doesn't remember how to shield. Well, that's it, I guess. Isn't it cool, though? We can freely control the urban legends. Well, 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 I certainly saw as much. But what was that bizarre ball a second ago? Beats me! Next, we face a new character in this game. Kassin! Well, I'll let the game introduce her first. I see, I see. Marissa had a ball, too? Kassin Ibaraki! Menace! The hermit who listens to wishes, I believe? Marissa had one, too. Oh, you're kidding. Sorry. What were we talking about? Hmm. It's no use playing dumb. I thought you... You would... You... You would know something about this made-up urban legend. Looks like I was right. That's urban legend being, if you collect the seven occult balls, a huge incident occurs, right? Your wish is granted, right? Eh. Eh. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Eh, whatever. So, when Marissa used this weird move, this su this weird ball appeared too. I would think that ball was one of the rumored occult balls. Although, in the first place, I don't know if so someone just spread that rumor by using a made-up urban legend. If your story about Marissa... If your story about Marissa is true, then you're the one holding that occult ball right now. Hmm? My apologies, but I'll be taking that ball here and now. Next, we face... Kasan Ibaraki. She's a new character this game. Oh, there it is. That attack is my occult attack. Reimu summons a bunch of uh, those things from from a gap because her thing is she's the shrine maiden of the gap. I could be way, way more careful. But yeah, Kassen, she's a character that is a hermit who lives in the mountains. I should get away. Spirit sign, fancy, fine, fancy, seal, Kassen. So with these occult attacks, what you want to do is you want to basically touch the occult ball until it dissipates. And she's going for another one. Uh, with this one, you want to be you want to touch it, but you also want to be careful of the monkey's paws, which I am not doing well. But whatever. Oops. Not what I meant to do, but okay. There it is. Why wasn't that coming out? <clears throat> now that takes down Kaz, son. Well, I figured as much. You're not going to hand it over that easily. Using my full strength here would be risky for several reasons. I ought to at least warn her, though. What was that? You pulled some weird... You pulled out some weird... What was that? You pulled out some weird ball, too. Don't tell me it's just like what the rumor said. Reimu, this ball is dangerous. It isn't a rumor that someone fabricated. The ball alone isn't made up of isn't a made-up urban legend. It's likely a genuine occult incident. Darkness of the Night of Occultism. Jeez, thanks to all that weird stuff she was saying, I'm too intrigued to sleep. A mysterious figure has made themselves known. 
Who's there on a light like this? No reaction. So there's nobody in front of me? Ha, ah, jeez. I must be sleeping after all. This is just a dream. Or rather not. Not with this occult aura. Better strike before they do. To be continued.